What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, we're going to be covering a super simple fix for Apex Legends if you're playing the game and you're randomly getting the connection timed out error or an unable to connect error. Note that this isn't going to cover the out of sync error. In fact, if you want a solution for that, check the description down below. So first of all, and more than likely, it could be related to EA servers, Steam servers, or the game servers. Check a website like Down Detector or ask some friends to see if you're alone in your struggles. Of course, if you're the only one having issues, check to see if your internet is working as expected. Something like a speed test is easy to test a stable connection. After doing a speed test, if your download, upload and ping are looking normal, then it could be your connection to your router if you're using a wireless connection. If you can, get yourself a wired connection and try to disconnect other devices from your local network if there's lots of them. Sometimes a device like a phone can glitch out and cause your router to struggle sending packets in a timely manner, ending up with you getting disconnected from the server. Next up, let's go ahead and make sure that it's not our DNS causing an issue. What we're going to do is change it to either Google or Cloudflare. Of course, if you're already using 8.8 .8 or 1.1, you can probably skip this step or you can try using the other server. Simply locate the network icon on the bottom right hand side of your computer. Right click on it and then click open network and internet settings. When this window opens up, simply click properties under your internet connection and then scroll down to the very bottom where you see IP settings. Simply click edit, leave everything at the top as is except for preferred DNS and alternate DNS. 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.1.1 are Google's DNS solutions. Using one of these is preferred as it should help multiple network issues. Often ISPs DNSs can go out of date compared to Google's or Cloudflare's. Speaking of Cloudflare, Cloudflare's DNS is 1.1.1.1. And for the alternate, we'll add in Google's 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Using these two over here, we should get the absolute best DNS connection to the best servers that currently exist. Simply click save and your network connection should disconnect momentarily. After doing this, now that we've changed our DNS to something that has a really good chance of working, let's hold down start, press R to bring up the run dialog box, type in CMD, and then type in ipconfig space forward slash flash DNS. This will go ahead and flush our previous DNS config out of the DNS resolver cache. The next time that we fire up Apex and try to connect to a server, if there are any DNS issues, they should now be resolved. Now, of course, this step doesn't really do much by itself, but it can do wonders if there happens to be issues with your ISP's DNS or whichever DNS server you were using before this. Using either Google or Cloudflare is usually rather reliable. And of course, finally, the last solution that can probably help you the most. Simply open up Apex Legends and we'll be changing the game server from our local one to a different one, hopefully somewhat close by. Sometime your city's or region's game server can be running a bit slow or it could be having other issues. Simply changing your game server to something that's not immediately next to you can sometimes help. At the very bottom of the splash screen over here, before you click to the main menu, you'll see press tab data center followed by the data center you're connected to. Simply click this and then choose a different server off of this list, preferably one of the next ones down that's not in the same region. So currently I would be playing on Bahrain, which is North Africa, while I'm living in South Africa. Sometimes these servers have issues or more often than not, they are low population, so finding a game takes forever. I'll simply click on say Singapore, Belgium, London, or Amsterdam to play on an EU server instead. Clicking on one of them and then clicking across to the main menu, will connect us to one of the other servers and hopefully you'll be getting less of the connection errors. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Taken Number here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.